everyone, my name's Ali A, and today has been an insane morning of gaming news. There was a new Fortnite update, we've got ourselves a new Pokemon Go Pokemon in the form of Alolan Executor. We've also got the big main thing, the Pokemon Let's Go Nintendo Switch trailer. I woke up this morning and I started watching about the first 30 seconds on my phone. And I stopped myself because I was getting so excited. I'm like, I'm going to watch the whole thing with you guys as a reaction to the trailer to take a look at exactly what this brand new game will be bringing to the Pokemon world. Once we've watched it, I'm going to go through and pick out some of my favourite bits, but I'm also going to be reading an article which is going to be detailing and answering a lot of the questions that I've seen people send my way, and I'm sure you guys and I will have about the game, how it's going to actually link in and interact with Pokemon Go for all of you guys that are still playing the game just like I am. We're just going to basically get excited about this brand new Nintendo Switch game. So if you're excited, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you haven't watched the trailer for the first time even then come and jump in and react with me and without further ado let's take a look at this brand new game all right here we go so he's on pokemon go at the beginning and there's been rumors about this linking into the pokemon go for ages i just love the world of pokemon man game freak the guys that made the main pokemon series Oh, baby! Look at this! Oh. Eevee! So much going on. Oh, you need one Joy-Con. Yo, you can throw! What? <laughs> That is so cool. Nice, great, just like Pokemon Go. Whoa. Two of you can play, what is this? This is nuts. What? Double excellent? That looks so hard. Is that guaranteed catch? Oh my God, it looks so good. The 3D graphics! Huh? What? You already know I'm getting that. These guys are great at drawing. Nice! Take your Pokemon with you? Nah. <laughs> what? Okay, this is how you've seen Pokemon Go. You caught your teeny. Job. What? What? The Go Park! Look at the Pokemon! It's at us in there. So then you can send. What was in the present? Ditto riding Onyx. Oh my god! Yo! You can customize the clothing! Oh my god. Me too? I need me too! Oh my god. Eevee! Yo. Yo! Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee! Is there anything else in the trailer? Oh, here we go. What's in it? You meet a special Pokemon. What? It's not going to show us it, is it? What is a special Pokemon? November the 16th. Oh my god. This is amazing. So we're going to dive into all the details in a second. I just want to pick out some of the bits which really stand out to me. 
First off is the fact that you're holding Pokemon on your back. Um, I'm not sure if this is only available with Pikachu and obviously Eevee as well as they are the main Pokemon of this series. You can see Eevee on the back here as well. But having Pokemon follow you was one of the biggest and greatest things of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver that myself loved, Claire loved. I don't know why it has never returned to a Pokemon game since then. So I'm really hoping you can carry on you and have follow behind you more than just Pikachu and more than just Eevee. I'm absolutely loving the graphics. Um, I can't believe there's like multiplayer support as well. And we saw it literally in the clip just there, but it looks like you can actually see the Pokemon in the wild. So you can just run into them. So if there's a Chansey in the wild, if there's a Pikachu in the wild, you can just run into them and guarantee that that's the Pokemon you're about to battle with. That's never been done in a main series Pokemon game before. And it means you can guarantee yourself you're going to be going up against some awesome Pokemon. So this is really interesting. This is when they've transferred Pokemon from their iPhone. Um, to the Nintendo Switch game and it goes into something called the Go Park. You can see uh, Zapdos in there, Charizard in there. I'm not sure if you can then use these Pokemon in the game because like me and most of you guys, you probably have all 151 Pokemon on Pokemon Go already. So does that mean we can just instantly get them on the Switch game? I don't want it to be available. I don't want it to be that easy. But if you can transfer my shiny Charizard across, my shiny Onomite across, hey, I would love to do that. So I hope there's that support. Okay, so I've only noticed this going back again. I mean, watching it for the first time, there's so much to take in. Obviously, the capturing works in a very similar way to Pokemon Go, but having talked about Pikachu and Eevee being on your head, it looks like not only can you ride an Onix, ride a Lapras, but look at this, and fly into Charizard, there are Pokemon following you. Nidoking, Nidoqueen following behind. Gengar and Electrode following behind you as well. I think it is. I think you're going to have any Pokemon you want follow behind you. Can you imagine Mewtwo riding Mewtwo having Zapdos flying behind you? Oh my gosh, it is amazing. Obviously, just like you, I want to know what that special Pokemon is inside the present. Um, but we can look at the trailer for ages and ages. I want to get some official information. So the guys over at Pokemon Go Hub, I follow them on Twitter. They always have the latest and greatest information on Pokemon Go. We've also written up an article and everything that's new within this trailer for the Switch version. They mentioned it obviously at the moment and go out and get it and play the game yourself. My brother's actually just been texting me. He's re-downloaded Pokemon Go because of this. You can get yourself a Lolan Executor really easily. I mean, I've literally just sat in the house all day and I haven't moved and I've already got myself one. Look at him. So tall he goes off the screen. So make sure you're getting a hold of one of those at the moment. And it's actually in celebration for the launch of this new game. And they've written out a load of key bullet points. So, Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee and Pikachu. The leaks were true. We have official confirmation of two new Nintendo Switch games that are based around the original Pokemon Yellow handheld games. I did not know that. And we'll also have ties to Pokemon Go. And here's all the details we know at the moment. There was a new Bluetooth connecting device to be released, an actual Pokeball. We saw that in trailer. The links to your game as well as Pokemon Go. It will work as a Pokemon Go Plus in Pokemon Go and will work as a Joy-Con in the Let's Go Switch version and can be taken throughout the real world and if you do, good things may happen. What? It's got a link to something else? Maybe that's the present or something? I don't know, but just say good things will happen. Okay, well, basically we need one of those things. It also says it appears to be trading between obviously the Switch and the iPhone or the uh, mobile version of Pokemon Go as well and it will go into a Go Park where you can send your Pokemon from Pokemon Go. There are little details uh, and it is unknown the extent of the trading between both your phone and obviously the game on your Nintendo Switch. And only Kanto Pokemon can be traded. So basically it seems like this is like a 3D remake of Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow was the third counterpart to Pokemon Red and Blue. I think in Japan it was Pokemon Green, but most of you guys will know it's Pokemon Yellow. We had Pikachu following you all the time. The Switch only game has local two player co-op, catching mechanics where you can both get involved. We saw that in the trailer uh, and also features customizable Pikachu or Eevee depending on your version. I think I'm going to have to go Pikachu because I'm pretty sure Claire's going to get dibs on the Eevee version um, because, I mean, we both love Eevee, but I'm pretty sure she wants to play that version. The trailer seems to indicate that Pokey Riding from Sun and Moon will return. We saw that in the form of Onix. Um, we also saw it in the form of Lapras and Charizard. Not sure if it would be available for all the big Pokemon or the specific ones, but it looked awesome. Buddy Pokemon are back from Gold and Silver. They mean Heart Gold and Heart, heart Silver. At the very least, including the main starters, as we said, of Pokemon falling behind you. Please! Game Freak, 
Make it so every Pokemon can follow you. It was the best feature you'd ever added into a game. Four moves are still present, unlike the two moves in Pokemon Go. So the battling mechanics are more similar to the actual original games that we're used to playing. Pokemon in Let's Go will have both a level and a CP. CP. I didn't even realize this. As displayed in the trailer in the top right of the Clefairy encounter. Okay, let me check this out. I didn't see this. Look at those graphics. Just look at those freaking graphics. Oh my god, I'm in love. I don't care that I've played Pokemon Fire Red a hundred times over. This looks amazing. Ah, so here they go. So, Clefairy is a level 10 CP60 Pokemon. This is really interesting. It seems it's almost as if they've just released a companion app for Pokemon Go for your Switch. Because um, it's not really a full, like, brand new experience. Uh, it's based just remastering it and making it look amazing for the Switch. So let's see what else, what other news they've got. It will take place in the Kanto region and feature the original 151 Kanto Pokemon as well as a few of our Alolan variants. The one unknown new Pokemon that's never seen before in the game hinted at during the end screen. Oh, maybe it is the Alolan variants. Okay, that's interesting. That makes sense. No online features, um, only lo local mo multiplayer. And the Worldwide release will be November the 16th later this year. But that that isn't it guys. So Pokemon Quest and one of my friends actually texted me about this today and saying are you going to be playing it? And I think this may be out right now. So another Pokemon game for both Switch and mobile phones have been announced as well called Pokemon Quest. No relation at all to Pokemon Go. It's another mobile game to hit the scene. It revolves around adventuring and exploring and takes a page out of Mystery Dungeon. When you actually control the Pokemon attacking up to deciding their characteristics and using items called Power Stones to strengthen them. The game is free to start, which indicates it may have in-app purchases, although it is confirmed to be free to download. It is currently available on the Switch now and on mobile in June. So I could actually download that and play that right now. I'm definitely doing that later. So I've just found this little trailer here on the, um, on the Pokemon Twitter. I haven't seen this. So it's everything cubed. This is cool, okay. It looks like a very basic, oh, it's very much like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But like a cubed version. I like that. That's cool. I'll give it a go. See what it's like. Another get you so much Pokemon news. That's absolutely crazy. You choose which one to attack with by tapping on the screen. Very different to a normal Pokemon experience. But as I said, if you've ever played Mystery Dungeon, you'll, you'll uh, recognize the sort of art style and the, um, the way that the game's laid out is very, very similar. Different stones, different items. You can control three Pokemon at a time. Okay. Definitely not as exciting as the uh, full 3D Pokemon Let's Go game, but still looks really, really awesome. I like it. You can set up your formation. You can get battling with loads of Pokemon. It looks cool. I like it. Not quite as exciting for it as the full game, but I mean, it's free to download, so everyone can give it a go, right? And then finally, the biggest news of it all, new Pokemon RPG. If you didn't think that was enough, coming next year, finally the conference announced that another core series RPG game will be coming to the Switch in the second half of 2019, with who knows what for features. So this combined with all the new news is a great day to be Pokemon fan. Oh yes, it is. So guys, we have got ourselves the brand new Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu game, which is basically a 3D remaster of what I understand the Pokemon Yellow. I don't even care. I'm going to be seshing it, and I can't wait to see exactly how it ties in with Pokemon Go as well, because I'm playing it so much at the moment. And we've got a brand new main series game coming tomorrow. That's two big Pokemon 3D releases in basically a one year period. Oh my gosh. So glad I got to react this, uh, react to this with you guys. I hope you're excited as I am. Apologies if I come across overly excited, but I genuinely am. That's how hyped I am for this. If you enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up. I did say I'll do a big Pokemon Go Q&A video very, very soon where I do a load of evolutions and answer a load of your questions. So leave some questions down below for that Q&A. Look out for a new Pokemon Go video very, very soon, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.